Hi, I'm Sonny, and I'd like to welcome you to Sonny's All Video Instant Piano Studio on the Internet. There are over 50 wonderful piano videos throughout this website. Please take time out to enjoy and explore it. You're going to have a great time with that. Today's Sonny's Piano TV show features more of the interview that we did recently with the great jazz piano improvisation master uh, Connie Crothers in her Williamsburg Music Studio a few weeks ago. Uh, Connie's going to talk more about how to improvise and how to get into the flow. She's going to give us an improvisation tip. Uh, today, though, Sonny's piano tip is going to be how to awaken the left hand. So I'm going to show you some exercises and techniques that you can do so that your left hand is doing more when you're playing songs or when you're improvising. Okay? So let's get right to today's show. We've got a lot of great stuff for you. I get a lot of emails from folks that are watching the TV show on a regular basis, and they are always asking me how to do more with the left hand because most of the time when people uh, play a song they will do something like this uh, they'll just play the chords they'll go okay so but there's so many different things you could do but I'd like to get more into some exercises and techniques that will get you generally into the flow so that improvisation will happen from more of an instinctual and intuitive uh, place, okay? So, one of the things you can do to get your left hand uh, looser and what I call awakening the left hand is this. Learn the A minor blues scale, okay? It's very simple. What goes like this. Here's A, okay? And if you play from A to A, straight up, all white notes, at the A minor scale. But let's play an A minor blue scale. It's just a little bit different. You, uh, you eliminate the B and the F, and you add the E uh, flat. So you can go like this. No B, E flat, E, G, A. A, G, E, E flat, D, C, A. Okay? Watch again. No B flat. Just go. If you just play those notes and only those notes in any random combination, you will get a blue sound. So this is a way of loosening up and awakening the left hand is by hanging out with this blue scale. So let's try it. You can go like this, and then right back down. So you can just go A, C, A, A, D, A, A, E flat, E, G, A. So, that's one thing you could do. Just hang out with that. Okay, one thing. Okay, so hang around with the A minor blues scale with the left hand. Start all the way at the bottom of the piano. Keep coming up. A, C, D, E flat, E, G, A, A, E. Okay, so here's something else we could do now. Play the melody with the left hand okay. instead of just the right hand. So in other words, let's say, again, you're playing Gershwin's Summertime. And do the same thing with the left hand. In fact, continue playing the whole melody, the whole song, with just the left hand. This will help awaken the left hand. Got it? Do it again. Now, 
here's a little combination of things you could do. You can combine the exercise one, which is hanging out with the A minor blues scale, with playing this song, especially if you're playing Gershwin's uh, uh, Summertime in A minor. So if you're playing it that way, you could just go. Now we could add some of that blues scale in there. Okay. Now here's a good place to add that blues scale. scale. Got it. Now the purpose of these exercises is, is again to get you out of the habit of just using the left hand to play chords. Okay, okay. It kind of awakens the eye-hand coordination in the left hand. It stretches out what I call muscle memory. Okay, uh, if you're only going like this or playing chords, you know, with the left hand, it really doesn't have the memory to start doing fancier things. So after you have uh, done some of this, like this, it becomes harder for your left hand to just stay still when it's playing the chords. So instead, when you are playing the chords with the left hand, you'll probably end up doing stuff like this. By improvising and getting it to the flow with the left hand, uh, it helps you to, when you start playing chords again with the left hand, to not just be playing straight up chords, but to be doing more interesting, innovative, improvisational type of things. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing. Now, this is, I think, one of the best things that you could do to awaken the left hand. Now, I got this exercise from Connie Crothers, and Connie said that she got it from Lenny Tristano. and. Uh, and they explained it like this, that uh, if you do improvise with the left hand, uh, there's a tendency uh, for you to be very creative because the left side of the body is hooked up to the right side of the brain, which is the creative, subconscious, emotional uh, uh, part of the brain, where the right hand is hooked up to the left side of the brain, and uh, that's more the organizational, analytical thinking side, cognitive side. So if you improvise with your left hand, there's a tendency to connect with your intuitive improvisational side and to be more creative. So, uh, let's uh, try this exercise. It's called the walking bass line and we're going to play this in a atonal uh, format. Now, I refer to atonal as the scale of no scale. In other words, instead of playing it in A minor or playing uh, D minor or C major, we're going to have no scale. We're not even going to think in terms of scales. We're just going to play as our hand seems to want to go. Okay? So this is called the walk, walking bass line and, and, and it works like this. Just kind of relax and just let your hand do whatever it wants to do. Like this. You could start off with just like pretending you're uh, like a bass player. You know, when you're going boom, 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 boom. And you could do something like this.